everyone. Welcome back to story time. Um, I'm here in the library, but it looks a little different, doesn't it? Can you tell where I am? Have you ever been in this room? I'm just going to adjust my camera a bit. This is what's called our partner's gallery, and it's in the back of the library. You may have seen it before. We'd really encourage you to come and take a look now, especially the kids. We have a great program in here at the moment. It's called Diggers, and it's machines that dig and animals that dig. And behind me, you can see there's some machines that dig and there it's it's an art showcase. So it's it's made really interesting. This one is made with like paper tool and all kinds of neat things. There's some ceramic ones in here. There's all kinds of things. We have a gopher, we have an owl. Uh, we have what else do we have a crane by the looks of it. Bulldozer all kinds of neat things in here. So I want you to come and have a look. And this is the little pamphlet that comes along with it. And so it's animals that dig. Gophers dig, right? They like to dig holes. Um, foxes like to dig. Uh, what else likes to dig? Mice like to dig and go underground. Rabbits, they have, usually have a den maybe underground a bit. And one other one is an owl. But it's not just any owl. It's usually called a. It's a, usually the burrowing owls that like to dig into the ground and they make their nest there. Other owls are up in the tree, but burrowing owls go into the into the um, dig a little hole and live down there. So today we're going to have a special story time. We're in our special room, so we're going to do stories on animals that dig and machines that dig. So we have one story for each. So we're going to start today with little owl's egg and i don't know if this is a burrowing owl i think this is just an ordinary owl but it's a nice little story little owl's mummy had some very exciting news she had laid a beautiful egg guess what said little owl's mummy we're having a new baby owl No, said Little Owl. No, no, no. No, said Mummy. No, said Little Owl. I'm your baby owl. You don't need a new one. Mummy Owl blinked. Silly me, she said. You're right. Besides, this egg is far too quiet to be a baby owl. Perhaps it's a baby worm. They're so silent underground. Just a bowl of dirt from time to town. Wouldn't that be lovely? No, said Little Owl. No, no, no. Not a wiggly worm. Ew. You didn't want a wiggly worm for a brother. Mommy Owl smiled. No, she said, you're right. It doesn't wiggle. Perhaps it's a pretend egg made of chocolate. Wouldn't that be good? No, said Little Owl. Chocolate eggs are no fun. They don't know how to play and they melt if you hug them. Mommy Owl prodded the egg. You're right, little owl. This egg is far too cold to be made of chocolate. Poor egg, feeling it, feel it, it's freezing. I wonder if we're having a baby penguin. Goodness, we better go and catch some fish for its dinner. All kinds of different ideas of what the baby might be. No, little owl squeaked. Not a penguin, fish. Yuck! I think a penguin would be fun. Mommy Owl patted the egg. What a silly mommy. Penguin eggs are warm. It's crocodile eggs that are chilly. That's it. We're having a baby crocodile. I wonder what they eat. What do you think crocodiles eat? You know, I don't even really know what they eat. I think they would eat just about anything. Little owls grew wide. No, 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 he whispered. No, not a crocodile. Probably not, whispered Mummy. Besides, it's a huge egg, far too big to be a crocodile. Perhaps it's a, an elephant, yelled Owl. That would be amazing. We could have the best water fights. No, said Mummy. No, no, no. Think of your nest. That would be a catastrophe. 
No, you're right, said Little Owl. Besides, elephants can't fly, but dragons can. Oh, I hope it's a dragon egg. Now Little Owl's getting into it. Oh, goodness, squeaked Mommy. No, no, no. But if it is very splendid egg, said Little Owl, it must have something special inside. Perhaps it's a baby Princess Wormy Choco Penguin Crocofint Drag Owl. Oh my goodness, that's everything put together. Do you think that's it? Kind of looks like a dragon and an elephant and a crocodile. My goodness. Hmm, I've never heard that. I've heard that they eat only very special food. Eight-legged snort beans. Google green gloopy garter taters. Oh my goodness. Sounds awful, Mummy groaned. You know, continued Little Owl, a little owl might just be more fun than a baby princess wormy choco penguin crocuff and dragon owl. Yes, said Mummy. We'd love a baby owl much more than a baby anything else. I think she's trying, she was trying to convince him an owl would be good. Little Owl put his wings around the baby egg and gave it a hug. Inside, a tiny heart beat steadily. Thud, thud, thud. When will I, our egg be ready, said Little Owl. Soon, said Mommy. If it's a new Little Owl, then I'll be a new Big Owl, said Little Owl. Yes, said Mummy, you'll be the new big owl, and I'll love you always. Always, said Little Owl. Always, said Mummy. There we are. I wonder what kind of egg they're going to have. They didn't tell us. I'm sure it's going to be a, an owl egg. All right. We're going to sing a fun little song. We've done this one before. So what kind of sound does an owl make? Hoot, hoot, right? So we're going to sing hoot, hoot, went little brown owl one day. And then we have to make a funny sound with this one. We have to go la-di-da-di-da, la-di-da-di-da. Okay, another part of this song is a squirrel, a red squirrel. And when that squirrel comes along, he goes jump, jump. So we're going to practice that. I'm just going to go jump, jump from my chair because I have the camera on. But you guys can get up and do a real big jump if you want. <coughs> All right, we're gonna start with hoot hoot. Ready? Hoot hoot went the little brown owl one day. Hoot hoot went the little brown owl. Hoot hoot went the little brown owl one day. And they all went hoot hoot hoot. But we know owls go la di da di da, la di da di da. La di da di da, but we know owls go. La di da di da, they don't go. Hoot hoot hoot. That part's silly, isn't it? Okay, what's next? Red squirrel. So we're gonna jump. Get ready to jump. Jump jump went the little red squirrel one day. Jump jump went the little red squirrel. Jump, jump, went the little red squirrel one day, and they all went jump, jump, jump. But we know squirrels go rub a dub a dub, rub a dub a dub, rub a dub a dub. But we know squirrels go rub a dub a dub. They don't go jump, jump, jump. Alrighty, on to our next story. Now this is like the pictures behind me, construction, big machines. This one's called construction kitties. Maybe you know some of these machines better than I do. Hopefully it tells us the names. I'm not real good at machines. Let's see. The sun is up, time for work. Construction kitties grab their hats. Gotta wear a hard hat if you're going to work for construction. Into the trucks, over the hills, over the bridges, onto the long winding highway. Construction kitties purr and sing to the music. We're here, on with our hats. Let's get to work. Do you know what that machine is? 
Is that maybe a back hole? Is that called a back hole, guys? Or am I wrong? Into the loader, onto the excavator. Dig that dirt. Is that what's behind us? That might be an excavator behind us on this side. Can you see it now? No, here, I'll move you again. Is that an excavator behind us? It kind of looks like our book, doesn't it? Into the dump truck, onto the backhoe. Move that dirt. The sun is high, time for lunch. Construction kitties take off their hats. Out with their pails, tasty sardines, cool milk. I guess kitties like that kind of lunch. Tummies are full, construction kitties purr and rest. Lots to do, on with our hats, back to work. Into the crawler, onto the dozer, push that dirt. I know that one, that's a bulldozer. Into the grater, onto the roller, smooth that dirt. Oh, they're smoothing it out. I wonder what they're making. The sun is low, time to go. Construction kitties take off their hats. A job well done. Can you tell what they made? It's like a playground, doesn't it? Into the trucks, over the hills, over the bridges, onto the long winding highway. Construction kitties purr and sing to the music. Soon it will be time to play. And there they are. They went back to play in the playground that they just built. So that's it for story time, guys. I really encourage you to come down to the library and have a look at our new exhibit that's on. It'll be on for, I believe, the whole month of March. And it's really interesting. So bring the kitties down. As well as that, we have a display set up in the kids' area with a bunch of different um, digging machines and digging animals. So you can take home some books, too, about it. One more thing, we will be having a St. Patrick's Day craft. That will be coming out probably um, this afternoon. Later in the afternoon, I'll probably have it out and ready. And St. Patrick's Day is next Wednesday. So if you want to come down to the library and pick up a little craft kit, or you may have the supplies at home, just watch the video and you can do it along with me. Okay? Talk to you later. Bye, guys.